terrific crowd, as you can see there, in a, in a very, very pleasant setting here. We're in the arena there, open on three sides, nestled into the Swiss Alps. It really is terrific as we look at the lineup for the third of the three heats. This is the A race, and uh, as John mentioned right at the top of the program, all eyes on lane four, Asafa Powell in competitive action for the first time since uh, testing positive for a banned stimulant. That was almost a year ago. There he is, one of the main stars, the big names. Just time to tell you about some of the other names to look out for later on. Valerie Adams is here, Brittany Reese, Jen Schur and Sally Pearson, the A-list stars. But, uh, well, controversial, John, let's be honest. It is controversial, Asafa Powell here competing again. Well, it's a talking point, isn't he? But he's taken it to the Court of Arbitration in sport. He was originally given an 18-month ban along with Sharon Simpson. We saw him introduced to the crowd about uh, 20 minutes or so ago, and you can see there, well, no better shot than that as he uh, strips off getting ready for this race. He's looking slighter, in my view. And he's, he's well past the 30 mark, isn't he? What is he now, 32? 31. 31 going on, 32. Former world record holder, of course, 9.72. He'll be up against uh, Kamali Brown, fellow Jamaican, who will go in lane five. We'll run through the full lineup for you in just a moment. But uh, good, uh, good, strong feel from the Jamaicans. Julian Fort also goes in lane two. There he is in the centre of your screen. So let's take you through the lineup for this uh, A race in the 100 metres. From Germany on the inside, 25-year-old Julian Rose, who's run. Uh, 10-1-2 this season so far. Good hand from the Swiss crowd for him. Another Julian in lane two, Julian Fort, a 10.03 runner. He ran that in uh, Kingston, Jamaica, just uh, a couple of months ago. Keston Bledman goes in lane three for Trinidad and Tobago, part of the Olympic relay bronze and silver teams, 26 years old now. Came second in the World Challenge event in Ponce a month or so ago. And so there is Asafa Pal, 31 years old, as we say. This is his first competitive race for a year. How much should we expect from him? But as you can see there, he's trimmed down. New training regime. Lane five, compatriot. Kamali Brown, 21 years old, national junior college record holder, set a new personal best of 9.93 in California just a short time ago. Antoine Adams from uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, same country of course as uh, Kim Collins, goes in lane six. Sembina Kani, the young man from South Africa who's been running really, really well, set a personal best of 10.02 up at uh, altitude in Pretoria. And the old man, relatively speaking, he's still only 28, but he, he seems to have been around forever. Walter Dix from the United States, silver medalist at the World Championships in both the 1 and 200 metres in Daegu. But all eyes in lane four, lanes four and five, I'd suggest the two Jamaicans, Asafa Powell and Kamali Brown. This the third of three 100 metres to get us underway here in Lucerne. Great programme of uh, track and field to bring you over the next couple of hours or so. So, what is going through a Sapper Powell's mind? The pre-race routine, of course, so familiar, but he hasn't done it competitively for over 12 months. How will he react? So, the lineup again from the right of your screen: Rouse, Germany; Fort, Jamaica; Bledman, Trinidad and Tobago; Powell. There he is in the blue. Goes in four. Brown in five. Adam six, Simbani seven, and Walter Dix in the red there, in lane eight. Well, a good start from uh, Asafa Powell, also going well is uh, Adams. Here comes uh, Asafa Powell going well. Asafa Powell, it's really neck and neck, and uh, Julian Fort, I think, too close to call. Possibly Julian Ford, I think, on the inside. 10.23. The same slight headwind of minus 0.8 metres per second, but uh, Julian Ford, it was indeed who came through. It was a Jamaican who won, John. Perhaps not the one we are expecting. 
Well, a lot of rust, and I think you've got to accept the fact that he's been out of action for a long time, and no matter how cosmetically fit he might look, he's obviously a long way short of full competition fitness. He got a decent start as well. He gets out of the blocks reasonably well, Asafa, but it was Julian Fort in lane two, 21-year-old, 10.24, given as his winning time. Asafa Powell, had he come storming away, see, he gets out well there, but that's the pickup point, and that's where the old Asafa Powell would be going away from the field. This time he doesn't do it, but he's not a long way short of fitness. Second, Antoine Adams, 10.29. Asafa Powell, given the same time in third as Keston Bledman, 10.3. And the wind really into a slight headwind, 0.8 metres per second. So I guess, in a way, there'll be those out there watching this thinking, well, you know, do you really want the headline in your papers where a man who comes immediately back from a suspension goes out and runs 9.8? The answer to that is probably no. Asafa Powell has come out and he's really done about as well as you could have hoped for. Yes, I think that's a fair summary and uh, he'll be pleased to get that one out of the way. It's a, fair, it's a relatively low-key event in terms of world athletics, although well attended. Decent crowd here in Lucerne this evening, but uh, yeah. Satisfactory performance, probably even more than that. Being interviewed there as we speak on the infield, Asafa Pau. And you'll have to get rid of that gentleman in the uh, cow outfit there because he's... Uh, ...the helmet, and there's confirmation of the result. Yes, Julian Ford taking that in, uh, rounded down, 10.24. Asafa Pau there, 